Hey there, Tony with Fieldpiece here, give you a quick overview of what each position around your clamp meter dial does so you can use your meter with confidence in the field. All right, so for easy reference, let's consider the dial of our meter like a clock. And we'll start at the 12 o'clock switch position, which is known as the OFF, or off, right? I think we all know what the off position does, all right? So, moving to the one o'clock position, we'll go from the inside up, we have VAC, that's voltage AC, meaning you can use voltage AC to measure incoming voltage at the equipment, uh, communicating AC signals um, at the control boards, things like that. The next one up is AAC. Now that's amperage AC or amps AC. Now amps AC is used, you could use that to measure amperage going into the equipment, at the blower fan, at the compressor, things like that. Now at the top you'll see 8Z and that's frequency. Now in this switch position you can measure the frequency through the clamp of the signal coming into the equipment or the frequency at a variable frequency drive by just wrapping the clamp around the wire, okay? Now moving to the two o'clock switch position, you'll notice that it's almost identical to the one o'clock. So the same voltage applications, amperage and frequency applications still apply. The main difference between these two is that on the one o'clock you'll notice it was 100 amps AC and the two o'clock is 600 amps AC. Meaning on the two o'clock I can, I can measure up to 600 amps, on the one o'clock I can measure up to 100 amps, and on the display the main main difference is when I'm on the 600 amp range, I get one digit or tenths of a resolution when I measure my amperage. If I'm on the 100 AAC position, I can measure to the hundredths or two digits past the decimal point. Moving on to three o'clock, it's VDC, that's voltage DC. So that's useful to measure or, or to troubleshoot EEVs, to measure control voltage on communicating systems and DC signal voltage on mini splits. Now the ADC is amperage DC, meaning the meter can measure amps DC through the clamp. Now there's not too many applications within the HVAC industry for that measurement. However, if you have one, put it in the comments. But pro tip, you can use that to measure, for example, the DC current coming from your battery on your service vehicle. The four o'clock switch position is HZ Hertz and percentage duty cycle. So that means you can measure in series frequency or duty cycles to help troubleshoot a variable frequency drive. And then in the five o'clock position, you have the microamp DC switch, not milliamp, but microamp to measure the flame rectification current on a flame sensor for a gas furnace. Now the six o'clock position is labeled L1, L2, L1, L3. That's a phase rotation tester. So that's very useful when you have three phase equipment to make sure that you have your L1, L2 wires in the correct order when connecting to a three phase compressor or blower to ensure that it spins and runs in the right direction. Now the seven o'clock switch position is FC T1 minus T2. That's temperature, Fahrenheit, Celsius, and then temperature one minus temperature two. Now the meter has two type K thermocouple ports and you can use those ports to measure delta T across the evaporator coil or even use your pipe clamps at the outdoor unit to measure high and low side temperatures of the refrigerant. Now in the eight o'clock we have MFD, microfarads. That's to measure the capacitance of your start and your run capacitors. The nine o'clock position is NCV, non-contact voltage. That's a safety feature. So you can use the tip of your clamp to point at an area of the equipment to ensure that it is not powered anymore. If it's not powered, your meter won't do anything. If it is powered, it'll beep and alert you that there is still power there, so be careful. The 10 o'clock switch position has three symbols. The first symbol is for ohms and that measures resistance. Now resistance is useful to troubleshoot compressor motor windings to ensure that you have the correct resistance between all three terminals, right? Now the next symbol looks like a beeper, but that's continuity. Now continuity measures ohms just like the first symbol. The difference is when you're on continuity, the meter will beep when you're measuring ohms less than 100. And so that's useful if you're uh, like, for example, troubleshooting a fuse to see if it's blown or not, or 
to confirm correct operation of your relays, whether normally open or normally closed. And the furthest most symbol is a diode symbol. And so the meter can measure diodes on, for example, a mini split control board. The 11 o'clock Swiss position has a W, and W stands for watts. So the meter, when you measure both voltage and, and amperage, can calculate in kilowatts the power consumption in real time. So pro tip, you can use it to measure the power consumption before and after a maintenance or a service call to show your customer the equipment is consuming less energy. And there you have it. That was a quick overview of each position around your clamp meter dial. Now for more technical training on how to use your clamp meter, go to Field Peace University and look at the electrical category. For more product related information, go to fieldpeace.com. And as always, stay tuned for more videos.